I see you've returned. You may remember our last cruise through Gore Lane, where we highlighted some of gaming's top gory deaths, and today we're back to bring you even more. There are tons of brutal and gut-wrenching moments in games, but the kicker here remains the same. Everyone must die. So sit back, relax, and try to keep your lunch down. Here are 11 more gory game deaths. Tess from The Last of Us was as tough as nails, and she wouldn't hesitate to drop a few slugs in you if she didn't like what she had to say. But of all the bodies she caught before her noble sacrifice to save Joel and Ellie, she really knocked it out of the park with this one. I can see his brains. Being trapped on an abandoned ship with money-hungry killers is one thing. Accidentally huffing hallucinogenic gas while you're at it? Well, that's where things really take a turn for the worse. You find all of your characters in Man Madon in some sort of life or death situation, many times. But if a rat bursts out of my stomach screeching for air, I would stab myself too. Wolfenstein has a long history of blood and gore, and the torch has been passed on to the Terror Twins. Right from the start, we witness a charming, sisterly love moment, and also the complete destruction of this Nazi's head. Between Soph's simultaneous cheering and vomiting, and Jess's realization of brains in the mouth, I'd say their first kill was a success. Well done, ladies. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got his brains in my mouth! Water, give me water! <laughs> you can't think of Gore without thinking of Kratos. Even his finishers on the smallest of minions deserve a spot here. But our next death goes to the Bridge Keeper in 2018's God of War. The mighty son of hell is said to be the toughest troll of all, but this doesn't stop him from catching the business from Kratos and his Blades of Chaos. Like all previous troll fights, Kratos tries to liquefy Helson's skull with his own totem, but he manages to resist. However, he can't resist his inevitable death as Kratos rips the totem in half and plummets the Blades of Chaos into his eyes for the final blow. All before, you know, ripping out his heart. Oh! Grand Theft Auto V served up plenty of brutal moments, but there's one in particular that soars above the rest. Molly Schultz may have been Devin Weston's right-hand woman, but after the hangar scene, well, she's only just a right hand. And a bunch of guts. Look out! Oh! Ah, yes. Gears of War, the game that showed me I could get beaten to death with my own arm. I even remember the first time I sawed someone in half after gunning them down. In Gears, obviously. But that's just one of many executions in the series that is full of that gory goodness. However, an execution from Gears 5 is getting the spotlight today. No curb, no problem. Our gun will work just fine. By now, Dead Space 2 really doesn't need an introduction. I'm still scarred from that eye needle. It's one of many traumatizing deaths from that game, and yet they're not afraid to give it to you straight from the start. The opening scene alone let me know Dead Space 2 was not for the faint of heart, and that's why our boy Franco gets the next spot. You're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> I'm not 
sure what's worse, getting gutted through the torso, getting injected with alien through the skull, or having your new alien overlord be two sizes too big and stretching you out to make space. Ugh. In RE7's Not a Hero, our pal Chris Redfield is on the hunt for Lucas Baker and more information behind the Baker incident altogether. Now, whenever it comes to the Bakers, I know some messed up shit is about to happen. Everything's all right now. Oh, <laughs> how that could not be further from the truth. Although I appreciate Chris Redfield's optimism here, even the soldier he's trying to save knows what's up as toxic gas bursts into the room. We then watch helplessly as this poor guy's neck gets shredded to pieces and his head falls to the floor. <laughs> They even made sure he got his helmet cracked so you can look into his lifeless, dead eye as you snatch his filter to survive. That's low. We had to do it. Kratos is so nice, he's featured twice. <laughs> This iconic boss fight in God of War 3 is the perfect show of dominance as Kratos uses his pure strength and rage to grip and rip Helios' head completely off his body. The stretching and tearing of the skin mixed with Helios' final shriek followed by the fountain of spewing blood really burns this one into my brain. <laughs> Good old Doom. The evolution of Doom through the years has given us even more gore with every iteration. If you haven't seen Doom Eternal's glory kills yet, then you're in for a treat, but today's spot is going to the unique glory kill against the Spider Mastermind in 2016's Doom. Shoving my BFG down the spider demon's throat and blowing its brains to pieces is not only visually satisfying, but each and every sound effect is all the gory ASMR I'll ever need. Although, I do wish there was more time to enjoy it before getting whisked away. You've won. It's over. Let's be real here. I could put every fatal blow, brutality, and fatality from MK11 alone on this list, and it would be perfectly fine. Notorious for blood and gore, Mortal Kombat absolutely tops the charts, and narrowing it down to one is nearly impossible. Nearly. Aaron Black's death trap fatality leaves nothing to the imagination. Ripping a hole in someone's torso with a bear trap to make way for a rifle into the bloody, gaping canal just to put the barrel up the throat is one hell of a way to pop someone's melon. But I gotta give credit to both the eyeballs getting ejected from the skull, too. Fatality. There you have it, folks. Did you make it this far? Eleven more gory game deaths are in, but has your sanity checked out? Have you seen enough, or are you looking for more? Let us know in the comments what your favorite gory deaths are, and be sure to check out part one if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.